In today's video, we will be making the Big Lebowski cocktail, also known as the White Russian. So we're gonna talk about the history, we're gonna make the cocktail, and stay tuned to the very end because even this simple three-part cocktail has a lot of room for creativity. Hi everyone, I'm Chris from A Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran of the bar and somebody that loves making fun and creative cocktails. Now we're gonna make the White Russian here in a second, but before we do, let's go ahead and talk about the history of this drink. And I'll be honest with you, there really isn't much history. Um, this is a variation on the Black Russian, which was created in 1949 by barman Gustav Topps. Now, if we fast forward all the way to 1965, we see the White Russian for the very first time in print. Now, in 1998, with the release of The Big Lebowski, that is when the White Russian really gains popularity. And I'm sure Clueless sales jump through the roof as a result of that movie. So, let's go ahead and make The White Russian. To make The White Russian, it's actually really easy. This is a built cocktail, so we're going to go ahead and add all the ingredients to the glass that we're going to be drinking out of. So, we're going to start off with two ounces of vodka. And as I mentioned, we're just gonna go right into the glass. Next, we're gonna add one ounce of Kahlua. And finally, half an ounce of half and half cream, whole milk, whatever you want, right in the top. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add the ice to the drink and just give it a quick stir. There we have it, the White Russian. So thank you for staying with us to the very end. And now let's talk about building flavor into this particular cocktail. So we're not gonna touch the base for it. We're not gonna touch the liqueur because I think we've talked about that in previous videos enough. What I am excited about though is the milk. There's a lot of different possibilities with the milk on this uh, cocktail. So whether it be soy, oat, skim, whole, whatever you drink in your coffee, will definitely work in this particular cocktail. Now for an instant nostalgia bomb, infusing the milk with your favorite childhood cereal is a really fun choice here. So imagine taking a drink and like, oh my God, I think that's Captain Crunch, it's totally Captain Crunch. So that is a really fun and creative way to use the milk as a flavor vehicle here. Now also look at other teas that utilize milk as kind of the base of it. So for example, chai would be a really great addition here. And finally, the one that I'm the most excited about is something that just has a lot of flavor already built into it, like horchata. Taking the horchata and replacing, you know, taking the milk out and replacing with horchata instantly boosts up the flavor, works really well with coffee, and I think is gonna be a home run in this particular drink. So, as you can see, there are a lot of opportunities to transform this simple white Russian. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with in the comments below. So there we have it. We've made the White Russian, talked about its history, and shown you how flexible this cocktail really is. So we know you have watched videos similar to this in the past, so hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon, and you will get notified anytime we release cocktail videos like this. Until then, I hope you guys are enjoying your favorite version of the White Russian. Cheers.